If you're going to swim in the deep end of Porsche transaxle cars built in the 1970s and 80s, one of your key life preservers is going to be a jumper wire like this in order to determine whether relays are good or bad. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I use that jumper wire to verify the power window relay was bad on Risky Business, our 1985 Porsche 928 project car. I'm going to show you how I used that jumper wire to close my driver's side power window as well as my sunroof using one of the old switches. As well as I'll give you an update on how I'm, this little relay is currently unobtainium. Stay tuned. <laughs> Following along um, on Monday, my friends Robert and Nick came over and helped me get the dash pod installed and we have all the instruments. So the car is running and yesterday was 928 day. I didn't manage to get a few errands done. Uh, one of the problems we ran into on Monday afternoon was the new switches were not engaging either the power, win either power window or the sunroof. Fast forward to today, Thursday the 29th. Uh, after ta speaking with a good friend from Hank from the uh, NNJR Porsche Club, so he gave me some good advice on how to troubleshoot the relay. And right, so here I'm showing a close-up of the relay with the cover. I couldn't find anything. Maybe somebody watching this can see. The contacts all look clean. It doesn't look like there's any wires that are broken. Maybe my vision's failing me, but... Um, Clear, clearly, I, I'm not seeing anything that's wrong with this. Uh, it's, it must be something in the board. It doesn't seem like the coil is activating in this when I tried that. So I went back to my handy-dandy jumper wire. So here's a shot of the board, if you're not familiar with it. And this is mistake number one. You don't use... Uh, I, I have to order a pair of relay pliers that get behind these relays. Using pliers is a, is a recipe for disaster. I already knew this relay was bad. I'm just showing it for demonstration, but this is not how you do it. The cover comes off. Now you're left with an exposed thing, and I'm using a pick, which is not the right tool to use. These things are so brittle that uh, they can easily crack or leave pieces in the uh, main board. So, and you can see me bending other ones. That's not the way to do it, so I'm just showing it. Two numbers to remember with uh, at least the Porsche 928s, and I'm sure it's true for 924s, 944s, all the transactional cars anyway, use these type of boards. 30 and 87 are your friends. Yeah. You'll see in a video I did about a year ago when we were having fuel system fuel pump problems, I jumper, Nick taught me how to jumper 30 and 87, and that bypassed the relay to ensure that we could check the the. Uh, fuel pump. Well, fast forward to today, and that same method applies here. So the key is knowing which is 30 and which is 87, so you can put your jumper wire in. And it's nothing more than I took a couple of blades that are that the correct size, took a, a the correct gauge wire, I forget what this is, and, and just put it together, and then that's what you have. I keep this in the car. You just never know if you have to troubleshoot something. So that left middle uh, horizontal slot is number 30, which I believe is the ground. And then across from that, on the right-hand side, that vertical slot, that large vertical slot, is 87. So here is me literally trying to fat finger my handy-dandy jumper wire into pins 30, 30 and 87. Keep in mind, I'm underneath the passenger side here, uh, underneath the glove box, trying to do this. And so sure enough, when I plugged in my good power window switch, the window went uh, was able to raise. All right. So now moving on, the same plug is used. A, a yellow one is used for the sunroof. Uh, a green one is used for the passenger side window. And a red one is used for the driver's side window. So in, in here, I'm basically using the same switch. There are four wire switch, green, brown, black, and red, for all three of those devices that are controlled by that one relay. 
So in this picture, I'm confirming the wiring for the sunroof and the orientation is correct. I'm, I'm literally using the same power window switch that I know was good before I took the dash apart. And I'm putting, you see me putting it into this, the yellow plug outlet, which is the, is the um, sunroof slot. And here I am, sure enough, with that jumper wire in, I could close the sunroof. So far, this power window relay is unobtainium. I've got a, a couple of friends have said a couple of other resources. So as of right now, I've got to check on those. Uh, if you know of anybody that's got one, not only could I not find a new part, uh, I, I, I checked eBay Motors and nobody even has a used one for sale. That's a little scary. So I can live with the jumper wire for now. It's not the right way to keep the car long term. And at least it allows me to move forward with putting the console in. So now that I've resolved that issue and know the motors work and it's down to the relay, I can, I can look at trying to source this, but at least I can move on getting the center console in. However, before I do that, I found some other wiring issues with the cigarette lighter and the clock. Okay, so the clock wires, the wires for the clock and the cigarette lighter are both, were both uh, chewed up. The red lead that goes for the clock is a constant power source because I went and touched it as I was uh, looking at it and I got a spark because it, the battery was still connected. So uh, I need to resolve that before I start driving the car again now that I know that. I did it yesterday just to say I could drive it on 928 day, uh, but uh, I want to get back to uh, having the console in. So I'm going to get back out there and uh, work on getting all the wiring done, perhaps the wiring for the stereo as well. If you like, if you enjoyed this content, please press the like button. And if you haven't done so already, please press the subscribe button. I do a variety of content, not just on the 928, uh, but also our Porsche Boxster and Porsche Cayenne. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you soon. Thanks.